In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, and what, what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand and what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teachings of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's needs. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people and every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, 
His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who with his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperable, undefiled, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while, you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that is perishable even through testing, Tested by fire, may prove to be the may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him. You rejoice with an indesirable and glorious joy as you obtain the goal of your faith the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 We believe in these times because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, 
We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen me have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, more commonly known as Divine Mercy Sunday. Today we take our readings from year A of the three year cycle. And we see, especially in the song today, how it exemplifies and draws attention to this very mercy. That St. Faustina, John Paul the Great, Jesus through them, tried to remind the world of his love for us. The song says, Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. And let those who fear the Lord say, mercy endures forever. His mercy indeed endures forever. He is great beyond all of our comprehension. His love and mercy is greater than all of our sins of all time put together. And this is what he wanted Faustina to promote through her diary. John Paul the Great, Pope John Paul the Second, Expounding and expanding to let us know and not forget God's love for us. Yet the time of mercy has its limits because mercy cannot exist without justice, and justice cannot exist without mercy. And how true his words when he told Faustina, We do not walk through the door of mercy repentance and contrition for our sins, we will face the seat of judgment. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I want that mercy. I know my soul. I know my past. And I know my dependence on God and His love and mercy. And as a priest, just as He did with the apostles, He gives us this authority to impart this mercy in the sacrament of confession. And in the gospel we hear this authority given to them, the first bishops and priests. He tells them, after he gives them the peace, and he gives them to receive the Holy Spirit, they receive this authority, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain. good God is, that though he uses men who are imperfect and sinners as, as much as anyone, to be able to impart the mercy his heart desires for all of us. His heart desires.
desires, his heart burns for love of us. And he does everything in his power to let us know us. We have Thomas who probably thought that his friends were playing a trick on him. Perhaps not. But he wanted proof. Jesus showed him that proof. The scars on his hands, the wound in his side. Though he was raised from death, he has and continues with these scars to show us the extent of his love, the extent of his mercy. That as long as we're able to turn to him and ask for it, he will always have. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, and I confess like baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Casting down aside, we praise our Lord and God and humbly ask for the answer to our prayers and those of the whole world. For the church, stronghold of the trust in the everlasting mercy of God, that the gift of faith be generously shared with all who search for it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who answer the call to a life of civic service, let me be ever mindful of the sanctity of all life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. To the wounded, the sorrowing, the hopeless, that they know God's mercy through the community's love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our brothers and sisters who have died, that God raise them up on the last day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Today's Mass intention we offer for the eternal rest of Jeremiah, Jeremy Moy and Domin Kelly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Holy and loving God, you raised your son from death in the tomb. Hear us and give answers. The same Christ God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the one we offer you. Put the vine and work of human hands that we come our spirit. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirits. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to God you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, by rising, restored our life. Therefore, we'll come with pastoral joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your Spirit upon them like the king, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in, he 
took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, until, until we come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held this word and be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, our Auxiliary Bishop, Mario, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is you forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Through the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other that sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.